And if you have any inch of conscience about the plight of some of those young people that I met, he will be standing up and challenging this government on their record of not delivering for Stoke on Trent. Is this Conservative government that's invested £56 million from the Leveling Up Fund? Here, here. 31.7 million to bus back better, 500 brand new home office jobs, a 17.6 million kids grove town deal that's unlocked the refurbishment of a sports centre they closed in 2017 because they couldn't be bothered to spend a single pound coin. Whereas in Labour's legacy is a PFI hospital with 200 fewer beds than the old one, stealing £20 million a year from the doctors and nurses on the front line, PFI schools stealing money from teachers in the classroom, and a white elephant council office that wasted £40 million. Why are Labour ever going to come back to so called Because I can't see it. I have to say to the honourable gentleman that that was a fantastic audition for the Secretary of State's job, but I can't imagine, based on that performance, that he'll be around long enough to keep his own. Let me tell him why. I was in Stoke-on-Trent the other day, meeting some incredible young people at the YMCA, an amazing organisation where those young people had a lot to say about the record of this government, and it sounded very different to his. Let me give him the reality of what has happened in Stoke-on-Trent. For those, for all taking into account every single penny of levelling up money that has been allocated to Stoke-on-Trent, his constituents are £27.7 million worse off yep. as a consequence well, of this government. Even that the is the Tory is. premium. That is the premium the that you pay for having a Tory government. And if you have any inch of conscience about the plight of some of those young people that I met, he will be standing up and challenging this government on their record of not delivering for Stoke-on-Trent. Madam Deputy Speaker, they don't need to believe me. Why don't they read the Public Accounts Committee report that was published today? It is devastating. It says billions of pounds have been squandered on ill-thought-out plans, forcing areas to compete over pots of money, small refunds for the money that has been stripped from us over a decade. This is not the whole